Namaste. <clears throat> Namaste and welcome to the seventh day of storytelling on the occasion of Navratri. Today, I am going to tell you the story of Kalratri Devi. First, let us start off with a prayer to the Devi. Ek veni japa karna pura nagna kharastita lamboshti karni ka karni taila bhyakta sharirini vam padol saloha lata kanthak bhushana vardhana murdhadvaja krishna Kal Ratri Bhayankari Kal Ratri Devi Kal Ratri Devi is yet another form of the Navadurgas, the nine Durgas who we pray to during Navratri. We worship Kal Ratri Devi on the Seventh day of Navratri. Kalaratri Devi is also called Shubhankari. Shubhankari. The one who does good. So, um, while I've been telling these stories of the Navadurgas, I've been reading books to get some new stories that maybe I myself didn't know before because I wanted to learn with you all. And I found something very interesting. I did not know that Kali and Kal Kalaratri are not necessarily the same. They are used interchangeably in stories many very often but it is not that they are exactly the same kalaratri the, the name kalaratri means end of time kala is time means time in sanskrit kala Ratri is night. And night is the end of the day. It's the end of that full time. So Kal Ratri is that time when the end has come for the person who has been doing bad. So Kal Ratri Devi is the one who meets out justice to make sure that the right punishment is given to the bad guy while the good guy, the innocent person is taken care of. So in that sense, all the devis who come and punish the asuras, they have come as Kalaratri. There is a um, part in the, in, in the Ramayana, you know, uh, when Hanuman goes to uh, Lanka and he sees Sita Devi and he feels very bad, right? And after that, he meets Ravana. And when he meets Ravana, Hanuman says, Oh Ravana, you are such a great person. You have done so much tapas. You have got so many, many, many bones. You are a great person. Why? Why did you do such a thing like bring, abduct Sita? Why? You know, by doing this, you have invited Kalaratri herself. The 
just you have invited your end. Kalaratri, the end of time, is symbolized as Shakti. It is that energy which will make sure that the bad is punished and the good is taken care of. So now I'll tell you one story, Kalaratri story. This is from the Varaha Purana. Um, in one of the earlier stories, I had uh, uh, told you how Devi comes to be, right? She is the energy within Shiva, Vishnu, Brahmadev, and everyone else. Once when the gods were really feeling helpless, Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma could do nothing. That helplessness, that anger that they had, the frustration that they had, and all that, that helplessness and the feeling of, oh, mother, please take care of us. That feeling when they had, out of them, the energy had come and had formed Devi. And from there, Mahakali, Mahasaraswati, Mahalakshmi had also been formed. And every Devas, Shaktis were also formed. Shiva's Shakti, that is, he is also known as Rudra. Rudra's Shakti, Rudrani, she has gone to meditate in the Nilgiri mountains. Now, what has happened is, in those days, there was a Asura, a demon called Ruru. Okay. So Ruru lived in this beautiful palace. It had lots of gems and jewels. It was surrounded with water. He was a horrible, horrible guy. He also has performed this tapas. To whom? To Lord Brahma, to Brahmadev. And he had asked Brahma for immortality. That is, he doesn't want to die. Which again, Brahma will have said, that is not possible. So, Ruru then thinks, he gets an idea and he asks that. He says, okay, the only way I can be killed is if my head doesn't touch the ground. Basically, if he's beheaded and his head falls on the ground, he would still be alive. So now, Brahmadev says, Tathastu. Ruru is extremely happy. Now Ruru knows that nothing is going to happen to him. He cannot die. Because if anyone was to cut his head off, behead him, then his head would topple over and fall on the earth, ground. And he would be alive again. If a spear were to go through his chest, through his heart, he would still fall down. And his head would fall on the ground. And he would come back alive again. There is no way to kill him. So Ruru now starts being mean to everybody. And he becomes the ruler of the three worlds. Everyone is scared. Everyone is worried. 
And so all the gods go to Indra. And Indra says, okay, let's fight. But <laughs> what fight? Ruru is all powerful. And what does he do? He runs after Indra, saying, I'm going to kill you. And Indra has to run away from his capital, from Amaravati. He is also defeated. And then all the devas, like, what shall we do? What shall we do? And Shiva leads them all to the Nilgiris, to Rudrani. She is Kalaratri, riding on a donkey with four hands. In one hand, she has a curved sword. In the other hand, she has a lightning bolt, Vajrayudha. In the other two hands, she doesn't hold anything. She has the Abhaya Hasta with the right hand and the Varda Hasta with the left hand. Vara means boon or gift. Varada hasta is a boon. Uh, hasta means hand. The hand that gives. Whatever you want, I will give. A mother always gives, doesn't she? Whatever you want, she will give. So Varada hasta. And Abhaya hasta. Abhaya means without fear. Hasta is hand. So she has the hand which says, don't fear. The gods go to her, all the devas, and tell her, help us, please. Please, please help us, oh mother. And she says, sure. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will make sure that all is good. So she now goes after Ruru. So Ruru looks at her coming and um, he wonders what she wants. And Rudrani Kalaratri says, look, oh, Ruru, stop being mean. Give everything back to the devas. Otherwise, your kala has come. Your time has come. I will punish you. He laughs. <laughs> what can you do? A mere woman, what can you do? And she says, you don't know. You don't know me, son. You don't know me. And she starts laughing. And as she starts laughing, from her laughter comes all the devis start coming. From her laughter, you can see all the devis come. All the shaktis come. Bearing tridents. Bearing kamandalus. Bearing chakras bearing spears, bearing fire, have all the devis. He calls all his people. And then there is a big fight. The war is mass, the war is long and the war is bloody. Finally, Ruru is defeated and the gods are back to where they should be, and the whole universe is peaceful. So, this is the story of Rudrani Kalaratri. Kalaratri Devi is someone we should always be thinking about. Know that she is always there to give you 
what you deserve. She is also called Shubhamkari, which means the one who does good. So she will make sure that everything is all right. It is important to know that if we are not good, there will come a time that we get punished. So let us be good. I hope you like the story of Kararatri Devi. Tomorrow, I will tell you the story of Mahagauri. Let's sing the praises of Devi. Jai Mata Deep.